what a spectacular effort it is there! Create space and then weave past a couple of defenders. McClare, here's Cantona! He's done it! My name is Rhys and I've been sporting Leeds all my life. Leeds were uh, founded in 1919, currently in the uh, Barclays Premier League. We created a list of absolute legends, Jack Charlton, Don Revy, Eddie Gray, the list goes on, and there's some absolute superstars at the moment, Calvin Phillips, Patrick Banford and, and, and many more. A ticket on uh, the website is about 40 odd quid, but if you're purchasing it from a third party uh, website it can be up to 90 quid. It, it gets ridiculous because of how uh, in demand the tickets really are. Leeds are one of the uh, cheapest season tickets in uh, all the clubs. Big clubs like uh, Tottenham, like Arsenal, their uh, season ticket prices are sky high and the higher ups of the who are in the club know what they're doing. They know that the fans are they're paying for the passion, they're paying for the for the atmosphere so they're willing to pay that price. With ticket prices increasing every season in the Premier League, supporters have now turned to watching the beautiful game lower down in the footballing pyramid. and I do uh, the social media and all the sort of website side for Geisley and also do stewarding on that state for as well. So Geisley AFC were founded in 1909, so over 100 years old. Um, we're currently in the Van Rama National League North, so we're playing at our second highest level we have played in the Van Rama National League. Um, we're now at the National League North. With Geisley we've got two paid members of staff um, who aren't involved in the football side. Um, so you've got one full time and one part time. So we've got volunteers who do a massive amount of work, like look after the pitch or sort out the media before a game. Anything that a volunteer could do, the club wouldn't run without them. So the volunteers are absolutely pivotal um, to Geisley. There's a great sort of team off the pitch, um, doing sponsorship. Um, I said media, radio commentary, highlights, etc., etc. The list is endless of what the volunteers do. At I think we do get a mix of people who come from Bradford and Leeds to watch Geisley. And again, it is that feeling of we're contributing to something that's at the heart of the community here at Geisley, whereas at their clubs you might feel a bit like a customer rather than a fan, and that's what guys are so good at. Come on, guys, do that! Yeah! Yellows leave the balls in! Can I have a ball of people? I'm Ben Walker. I'm uh, one of the coaches at Guys of Community Foundation. Guys, the Community Foundation was founded, I reckon, 10 years ago and they just started with the holiday camps that we're doing outside now and they built up gradually. It literally just started with a coach called Danny Ellis doing some camps outside and now we're in schools, youth offenders, we do other things with people with mental illness and things like that, so we do everything across the board now. It's smiles on faces for me, the kids that come down, they get to see a smile on the face, kicking a ball around. That's the best thing you can get. It's, it's not just a job, it's that it's working in football. I love working in football, working in coaching. Um, more I've done of that, more I love seeing young kids, young lads, young girls enjoying it. Me teaching them something new, 
that they might not have been able to do before. They're making new friends. Um, other coaches going into um, different situations, trying different stuff, different schools, and just seeing everyone just enjoying sport really more than anything else. We have average six, seven hundred fans down, but everything you see here from pitch to cups of tea is all done by volunteers. So our pitch, our change rooms are cleaned by volunteers. So on a match day, it wouldn't really work if we didn't have volunteers down there because no one would be here to do do anything. And cause it's not a bad setup, but we need a lot of volunteers. So I think we've got 10, 10 to 15 volunteers that come down every day pretty much. As ticket prices increase every year and transfer records are broken every summer, clubs become more and more reliant on money to keep supporters engaged. This is when clubs don't see supporters, they begin to see customers. As the season comes to an end, we are now seeing the full effects at clubs like Derby County and Oldham Athletic, where finances have crippled the club from the ground up. And if there isn't a cap on player transfers or ticket prices soon, then the sight of clubs going under like Bury FC become more of a common occurrence. I don't think they realise how much work needs to go on to run a club like this. I know it might not seem the biggest club, but there is like a lot of people that work full time and people who work full time for free. And you've got people at Premier League clubs that are owners are worth millions. But I mean, we could, every little helps for us, even when we play Leeds, Bradford in pre-season, that money helps us throughout the season financially. And that's just one, two games in pre-season, never mind playing in front of 30,000 each week like they do. People look forward to match days, look forward to football on a Saturday. They work all week to come watch guys on a Saturday and they didn't have that like, outlet. And I know the people struggle with it, the players struggle with it, no one here to support them. Travelling a long way, I've been on their own, but yeah. Fans and the kids, just they must have been struggling, not being able to come down. Cause you can watch as much TV as you want, football on TV, but it's not the same coming down to Geisley and watching them in person. We provided three live streams on YouTube for everyone to watch, and it's just not the same for them. They're not getting that sense of enjoyment to come out of the house, go and watch their team and cheer their team on. So I think it will have a massive effect on people's mental health. We had a lot of kids that come back, especially at camps, that were a bit shy when they came back. Um, a lot of kids that had not spoke to people in a few years' time. It wouldn't for everyone, really, but especially for younger people. They couldn't really get their head around it. And we had a couple of first times we were back. People didn't know whether what the boundaries were anymore. And it were like, um, it took people a while to adjust, but glad to see it heading in the right direction again now. The guys in 10 years' time would maybe solidify their position in this league or maybe even in the league above and try and be competitive in that league. Whenever we were, we were in that league, um, we did always struggle with relegation, trying to stave it off. I don't think we'll ever come away from a core of volunteers being down um, because we obviously struggle with competing against Bradford, Leeds, Harrogate. Um, but I do see that because the community's grown massively over the last few years. I just see it getting bigger and bigger in that, influencing different areas of the community, not just football, getting into different stuff, um, different sports, different organisations, different um, activities that not just kids can do, but everyone, all age groups. It's not true.